Iba Inu, today we find out. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. Happy CPI day. <laughs> it's the most important CPI until the next one, right? Uh, but this time around, we have a very clear cut that the federal chairman of the United States of America is going to reduce interest rates. The question is going to be by how much, right? And this CPI print will give us more of a you know, clear cut direction to where the Fed could be going next week, right? So all the things that are happening today, tomorrow, going into next week are this big crescendo going into October potentially where the crypto market should be, could be, right? We don't know, could be, should be <laughs> ignited into a very nice uh, pump there, right? We'll see. Again, nothing is for sure. We don't know, uh, but it's going to be very interesting over the next few days. I know people say, oh, nothing happens. Not uh, Things happen. The price action is not maybe to specific people's liking, <laughs> right? Uh, but you can always make money on the movements. And plus, we're going to talk about another hack that happened. Plus another, uh, I don't know if it's a scam, but many of you need to be careful of it because it has to do with your smartphone and losing all of your crypto. Um, so we're going to cover a story that I read that I had to share with you guys so you will be careful and not do this as well. Um, so all I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile to send out the good, good vibes. Smishity smash that like button and let's do the Shiba Shake. <laughs> So currently we are seeing Bitcoin sitting at 56,586, down almost 2% on the day. It, like I expected, um, there was no pump, crypto pump <laughs> from the presidential debate like last time around. In these debates, it's more what the moderator asks, right? And so if they don't ask about crypto, if they don't ask about the economy, there's not going to be an answer about crypto, right? Uh, maybe if it was on Fox News <laughs> and not ABC, we would have seen that, but um, that's what it was. From what I'm reading, and, and maybe I'm wrong about this, I'm just, I was just reading Twitter and I was reading uh, websites, maybe on other websites things say different things. It seems like a, a tie. I don't know, but we'll see. And the market doesn't like ties. <laughs> the market likes when there's a clear-cut winner. So, so far, the market, the crypto market has pulled back a little bit. Um, we did see, you know, the high here at 58,000. We did see Shiba Inu also down 2% here, um, you know, with the high of 1369, now at 1325. And everything is waiting to see at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time today, what's going to happen with this uh, CPI print right? Um, the expectation is 0 0.2, right? That's the forecast. Uh, and to, sorry, 3.2, sorry, the, the over year over year is what we're interested in. Uh, and we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens here. Uh, we'll see how the market reacts. Um, I, I might make a video after the print. I usually don't do that. I do it a little bit later. We'll see today how things uh, fold out, uh, you know, kids wise and things like that. Uh, but it will be very interesting to see how the market reacts to this because the market has been pretty stuck over the past few weeks uh, around this 55, 56,000 level inside the red zone, the green zone, the red zone, the green zone, with, you know, the outliers of a few days where it fell below and it popped above. But for the most part, we've been between these two zones. And the question now is, is are we ready, right? Are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> if you if you lived in the nineties, I think that sound right, two thousand, early two thousand, <laughs> um, to see finally a print. And you know, historically, there have only been two bad Octobers. So you know, going into that and into the information that Bitcoin tends to break out post having reaccumulation range one hundred fifty to one hundred sixty days after having history suggests that we'll see a Bitcoin breakout over the next two weeks or so. However, September has typically offered limited average monthly returns. More realistically, chances favor a breakout in October, which has historically been a strong month for Bitcoin, especially in halving years like 2024. In the previous halving years, 2016 and 2020, Bitcoin enjoyed three straight months of upside across October, November, and December. Now, again, the question is, 
is this the, the chicken and egg? Is this the prophecy that fulfills itself? Everybody thinks September is bad, so people are sitting on the sidelines, no buying, right? And then because everybody thinks October is going to be great, they're waiting for October and, you know, wake me up when September ends, <laughs> right? Uh, as famously Green Day said, and maybe October will turn into a Green Day, right? And that's what we're looking for here going forward. But again, I don't know what the CPI is going to be. I don't know how the market's going to react, um, but we'll find out in, in just a few hours. Actually, I'm recording this a little bit earlier uh, than I release it. Um, so, you know, for you, it's going to be like, well, when I release it, it's be two hours. Maybe you're seeing this a little bit after, so you already know what the CPI print is. And maybe we've crashed 10% and maybe we've pumped 10%. You know, sometimes people in the comments forget that I record sometimes a little bit earlier. Uh, things are dynamic in the crypto market. If you're interested in taking advantage of it, and today is a very tricky day, but you can still make, you know, money if, if you take advantage of movements. We did see, for example, uh, a few days ago when we had the job reports, if you remember, the market pumped, right, to 58,000, Shiba Inu pumped, everything pumped, and then there was the revision of the job reports, the other, the old job reports, and then the market tanked. So you could have made money on the way up and on the way down, and you also could have got liquidated. So you have to be very careful on days like when information is coming out. If you are interested, our partner Margex will give you the opportunity to do so. Uh, we're having the airdrop now, the Caspa airdrop plus there's also an extra competition that is going on for everybody and there's a pool of money that can be won there for the top traders and also uh, uh, some traders that are um, you know on the lower end um, they are 10 random traders that just play, placed one bet a dollar bet they're going to be inside the pool they're going to get 20% of the pool as well um, so if you're interested link is in the description down below but please 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 trade responsibly you can make a lot of money with leverage but you can also lose a lot of money as well so now let's on move on to uh for, oh wait the crypto fear 37 so we moved up a little bit on the fear uh makes sense a little bit because we're not at the low of bitcoin anymore we're, we're you know we had a lower zone here at 54 53,000. so there's a little bit less fear um so you know that that makes sense i want to talk first about this one and then we'll talk about a hack that also happened um last night you have to be very careful, especially people that have wallets on their phones and they keep seed phrases as a picture, right? So many people, you'll have a seed phrase of your wallet. People will write it down and they'll put it, you know, on, on their, uh, you know, in, in, the, in a safe, in a closet, under the bed, I don't know, wherever. But because we're in a digital day and age, some people will take a picture of it and save it on their phone somewhere, right? So apparently there's new AI hackers using AI that are, uh, they can, using AI, find these pictures on your phone, see that it's actually a picture of text and take the, the, the text out of the picture and find your seed phrase. But how do they get onto your phone? So apparently the are, these are these apps and this person is, is sharing that their brother um, downloaded an app it says here apparel photo, right? And they using that app, it downloaded some malicious code onto the phone. And then they were able uh, to take their seed phrase, right? There was a malware called spy agent. And this malware was hidden in a TV streaming app and had a very unique way of operating. It scanned all the data on the phone, searching for patterns resembling a seed phrase. What's astonishing is the malware could even recognize seed phrase from a photo, even though it was in a text form. So be very, very careful. I know I always warn about, you know, not clicking on links and not, you know, <laughs> um, sending people money and things like that. But now we have another thing to, to be fearful of, uh, apps that could be with malicious code. So might be smart. And by the way, this uh, is uh, already been found by, uh, I think, McAfee. So probably the other antiviruses already also have, it's, it's, it's smart if you're, you know, have, a lot of money in crypto to invest in a malware uh, detection app that will help your phone out. Uh, you know, some of them, you know, cost premium and you have to pay a few dollars a month. But if you think about it, it's usually worth it. Um, so just be careful out there. Don't click on any links. Don't send your information. Don't download apps uh, that, you know, aren't, you know, verified or, or aren't, you know, big apps and things like that. So just be very careful out there. Okay. Uh, and it's 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 a difficult situation, you know. It's it's scary, but um, 
it is what it is, right? You could get, you know, robbed. The bank could get robbed too, but you have the FDIC, right? So, but at the end of the day, just, just be careful, okay? Also, there was another hack that happened. Uh, billions of Shiba Inu tokens stolen from major exchange. So it wasn't just Shiba Inu. According to blockchain firm Slowmist, uh, Indodax, the oldest and largest Indonesian uh, exchange with more than 5 million users, has suffered a security breach. They hacked, uh, stole 22 million worth of crypto. Notably, notably, Shiba Inu, the second biggest meme cryptocurrency, was among the affected. The bad actor stole 9 billion Shiba Inu, right? Um, so in general, um, it's not that uh, terrible, right? Only 9 billion, which is, you know, still still, a, still a good amount of Shiba Inu, but um, not, you know, uh, how much is uh, 9 billion, right? 9 billion, million, billion times 0 0.0234, right? 13, right? We're at 13, somewhere around that, 1327, right? 27. So it's about 120,000 worth of Shiba Inu, uh, not, not the same scale, right, of uh, the, uh, what was it, um, in Wazir X, right, that they stole, it said here, about 100 million of Shiba Inu. So here is, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, 100x uh, less than uh, what will happen in Wazir X, and that's why we're not really seeing anything happen, even if they sell 100,000 uh, worth of Shiba Inu, it's, you know, in the in the end, and the total volume of Shiba Inu, it's not a lot. Here they were selling trillions, right? So that was a, it was a totally different, uh, um, you know, scale. But again, these things happen. Um, on the one hand, we say don't keep your, <laughs> your assets on exchanges, right? And on the other hand, before that, I, I made you fearful about keeping your assets on uh, ex external wallets or, or um, hot wallets, you could call them because they're still on your phone. They're not, you know, like a, 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 a Tracer or um, uh, I'm blanking now on, on the on the names, <laughs> um, you know, that you keep in your closet. Um, so you have to be careful. It happens sometimes. But again, if we if we keep our guard up, if we have safety in places, we, we're not going to get burned. Hopefully, sometimes you know, see we talk about this how sometimes big big whales distribute between different wallets. That's the reason why uh, they distribute between different wallets. Because if one wallet get hacked, then you're not you're not drained of everything, right? Um, so. That's why many people are locking to these ETFs because the ETFs will take the risk of them getting hacked, right? And so it's it's all about uh, risk versus reward and perspective here, right? If you go to BlackRock, you pay them money to, you know, on that ETF, right? You're, you're paying them a percentage. So they take the risk and then you you sleep good at night. If people, that's worth the risk, then they do it, right? So, so it's... It's important just to be careful and um, not click on links. Don't be greedy. <laughs> it's going to be, if the if the crypto market starts pumping, people are going to get greedy. People are going to click on links. People are going to want these airdrops. And there's, it's all scams, all scams, right? Clicking on links, right? Airdrops are not a scam, but the ones that say free airdrop, get a, send me your wallet address. No, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Um, of course, not financial advice, and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.